In this episode, the Mason clan are off to North Wales for the weekend. Morning, this weekend, the Mason clan are off to Lady Margaret Park's Caravan and Motorhome Club site. Stephen's off, so he's got the job of popping all the essentials into the van. Meanwhile, I've got these two out for an early morning run. So when we're ready to leave at lunchtime, they'll be nice and dry to get into the motorhome. That's Archie having a good look round to see if there's any deer because we often see them on our early walk. You ready to go again, boys? Time for the weekend with the Mason clan. Where are we off to this weekend, Mr. M? Chirk near Wrexham. Well done, let's get driving. We're from Lancashire, so our journey is going to involve the M6, which is never pleasant on a Friday afternoon. So we always try and get away as early as possible. To get to the campsite, we took the drive through the grounds of Chirk Castle. Now, you don't need to do this. When you reach the entrance gates, you can turn left and head straight down the lane and miss this drive out. But I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. It was lovely. Once you've driven through the grounds, you reach the exit of the castle and you're greeted by these fancy gates. Look at them. The campsite is on the lane to the right. It's a short drive down to the entrance. This site is trialing the fast check-in system. So payment is made the previous night. On arrival, you just drive up to an automated barrier. You're allowed to go onto the site and choose your pitch. Once you've done that, you just do a reply text with your pitch number. Simple. Once we're settled onto the pitch, the next job is to check out the dog walk. The boys gave this one the thumbs up. And Friday night is also the night the fish and chip van was there. So no cooking for me. The fish and chip van was very popular. So choose your moment to join that queue. Where are we going to today, love? Today we're going to punt it and fire it up. Thank you. You're welcome. So we're going to be heading down that road to the Ponty Viaduct. This is the main entrance to Chirk Castle, which we drove through yesterday to get to the campsite, as the site's just at the exit of the one-way system through the castle grounds. Ready to go, my love? Yep, yeah, let's go. Let's do it. The bike ride to Ponty was just less than three miles. Now, we have electric bikes, so it was no issue for us. It's mostly quiet country lanes, but there are a few hills on the route. Ponty Aqueduct was designed by Thomas Telford and it has 18 arches. It took 10 years to build and it's where the Langollen Canal crosses the River Dee down below. If you ever walk across this, you'll notice there's quite a gap in the railings and we were told this was so children could step onto the outside of the aqueduct if a horse was pulling a narrowboat across it in times gone by. The Canal and River Trust run a visitors information centre. We spent quite a bit of time in there learning all about the area and the aqueduct. With the weather not looking any better, we headed into the village and found the chapel tea rooms. There's plenty of parking at the side of it and we were able to find a table. It was very busy and the food was good.
We'd managed to lock our bikes up near the aqueduct, so we headed back across it and decided to cycle back on the towpath. The towpath is of good condition and we were able to cycle through a few tunnels all the way back to Chirk. In the evening we got a taxi into Chirk, we'd booked a table at the Castle Bistro which was busy. The curry house across the road was also busy. There's a few places to eat and drink. We ended up in a local bar afterwards listening to live music but we couldn't get a taxi back to the site so we ended up having to walk down the lane. So would we use Lady Margaret's Park again? Yes, we would. We really liked it. It was a shame the weather wasn't on our side, but hey ho, you just get on with it. It's quite a large sprawl in sight. There's a play area and obviously the usual facilities for motorhome and caravans. Toilet block was modern. I'd say it's recently been done up. The fast check-in system, we also give the thumbs up to as well. So we'll be going back just when there's a bit more sunshine. Hopefully this will have inspired you to come and visit North Wales too.